Let's run through another stoichiometric calculation with a decomposition reaction. This time, let's decompose potassium nitride. If we start with 50 grams of potassium nitride, I want to know what mass of potassium will be produced and what mass of nitrogen will be produced. Potassium has a plus one charge and nitrogen forms a minus three charge. So potassium nitride is K3N and it's going to decompose. So when it decomposes, it's going to form potassium, which is just K. And it's also going to form nitrogen, which is a diatomic. So that's going to be N2. So we have to balance this before we can do any stoichiometry. Well, I have two nitrogens as a product, so I'm going to have to have two potassium nitrides, which means that I'm going to have to form six potassiums as a product in order to get my balanced equation. Now we know that two moles of potassium nitride will produce six moles of potassium and one mole of nitrogen. The information given to me is that I have 50 grams of potassium nitride. Our balanced equation doesn't work in terms of grams. We have to convert our data to moles. After writing a balanced equation, make sure that all of your data is in moles. So let's do it. I have 50 grams of K3N, and now I need to look up the molar mass of K3N on the periodic table. I have three potassiums with a mass of 39.098 and one nitrogen with a mass of 14.007. So for potassium nitride, I know that one mole is equivalent to 131.301 grams. I can cancel out my grams in my conversion, just like we did in our last chapter, and I get a value of 0.381 moles of potassium nitride. I've written a balanced equation. I've converted my data to moles. So now it's time to figure out how much potassium we make. I know I have 0.381 moles of potassium nitride. How much potassium do I make? Well, from the balanced equation, I make six moles of potassium for every two moles of potassium nitride. So I can say there are six potassiums for every two potassium nitrides. And you can even simplify that and say that that's a three to one ratio instead of a six to two ratio. But that means if I start with 0.381 moles of potassium nitride, I'm going to get 1.14 moles of potassium. But the question isn't asking about the moles of potassium. The question is asking for the mass of potassium. So now I have 1.14 moles of potassium. If I go back to my periodic table, I know that the molar mass of potassium is 39.098 grams for every one mole. My moles cancel out 44.7 grams of potassium. So when we decompose 50 grams of potassium nitride, we make 44.7 grams of potassium. And how we did that is we started with our balanced equation. We converted our data to moles. We use the ratios in our balanced equation to predict and find what we're looking for. And then we converted our data back to grams at the end because the question was looking for mass. The second part of the question is asking for the mass of nitrogen produced. Well, we can run through the same process. We've already balanced the equation. We know how many moles of potassium nitride there are. I could use the ratios from the balanced equation and then I can convert to grams. Or I could just use this concept of conservation of mass. I know that I'm starting with 50 grams of potassium nitride. That's given to us in the problem. We just found that we we're gonna make 44.7 grams of potassium. So that means the rest of the mass must go to the nitrogen. So 50 minus 44.7 gives me 5.3 grams of nitrogen.